So good to see you again. It has been a month. So really happy and excited and energized to be back here for this class with Saha, Spirit Animal Yoga. And first, I'd just like to really settle down. For most of you, it's morning, but for me, it's afternoon. So I also need some grounding for everything that already happened today. And then we'll dive into the spirit animal journey. I also have some spirit animal cards, but I first want to really, yeah, go back to all the spirit animal, animals that already came onto our own path or that are present in your own life and that are important to you before we pull out another one. So just come to a comfortable seated position with your sit bones on your cushion or on the mats. Soul spine, hands can rest, hand palms down to ground more, your hand palms up to receive guidance from above. Now you can close the eyes for a moment. Take a couple of breaths. In through the nose and out of the mouth. Each inhale can be love and each exhale gratitude. Inhale love. Exhale gratitude. One more. And come back to your neutral breath. And feel your spine. Is it being tall and relaxed, or are you leaning a little forward or backwards? And then your shoulders a little forward or backward above your hips. Relax the shoulders, relax your jaw, relax your tongue. Let all the energy in your body settle down like a glass full of glitters that has been shaken. And then when it stands still, you can see all the glitters fall down from the top to the bottom. Notice what that feels like. If you can consciously bring your energy down to the ground, to the earth, And then even deeper underneath the ground, about 40 centimeters under the ground, where your earth seat is, you're connected to the earth energetically. So to go there consciously, connect there. And slowly start to roll your shoulders. Just feeling those shoulder joints carry you, support you, hold you, giving some extra care and love to that area while you're rolling the shoulders forward and backwards. And then we'll take the breath with us in the arms and the shoulders. And inhale, and stretch your arms out to the side. Slowly bring your arms up. Raise all the way up. And exhale down. Good. We'll do two more. I'll follow your own pace. Maybe it's a little slower than I am. Or a little faster. And then relax. We're going to roll the neck. You can bring the chin down to your chest. First, feel the stretch at the back of your neck for a moment. Bring some oxygen to the back of the neck while breathing there. Some loving care to the back of your neck. 
holding your head always. On your inhale, slowly chin to the right shoulder. And exhale down to the chin, inhale to the left shoulder. And exhale down just a couple of times, right and left. And slowly round it up, bring your neck back to a neutral position. Now we're we'll bringing our hands into a lace on the heart. And close your eyes again to tune in with your heart and feel how your heart is today. Does it need some more space? Does it need some more loving attention? Maybe some more rest? Some more care. And then while well, you're connecting to the heart, you can bring some spirit animals that have been with you before into your heart. Just remember, maybe as a child, you had a favorite animal without knowing that was your special animal. I just recently read in one of my child's children time diaries that the seahorse was my animal. I totally forgot to bring the seahorse in for me. <laughs> Why are all these animals here on this planet together with us? They all have their intentions and their purposes and their missions. And they remind us of so many qualities and strengths and abilities and skills within ourselves. So we bring those into our life or they come into our life so we are reminded. We're feeling the gratitude for all those spirit animals and opening ourselves up back for more new spirit animals. Every day, even if it's a mouse or a bee or a fly, there's always spirit animals around with messages. And just relax your hands down back on your knees. So for today, I have this idea that I'm going to pull five cards and I'm going to ask you. So even if you're watching or not watching in this moment, just a number between one and five. And then the number that you chose uh, yeah, connects to that card. So everyone can have a spirit animal without even being here. So just pick a number between one and five. Maybe tuning into the heart again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I myself am going to choose five. So the first one, if you had number one, is the eagle. Oh, wow, just gonna show it a little closer. <laughs> so that's one. If you choose two, it's fire ants. Why not? <laughs> if you have number three, it's the raccoon. Super cute. And very skillful. 
for the wolf. Powerful one. Oh, and number five is the whale. Yes. So now we're moving into a relaxing pose to really tune into our spirit animals. So you can come on your mat with a bolster behind you and a block for your head. We start with a pose of surrender and opening the heart. So bring the soles of the feet together and then lean back. And recline butterfly, supporting your head with the help of the block. Depending on where your neck and the head are, you can bring the block on another side, the short or the high side. And if the bolster is uh, too much, you can also roll up a blanket underneath your lower back. Arms can be open to the side with the hand palms up so that the shoulders can sink back and open up the chest. And just sink into this pose. Passive back bend and the heart opening, opening up the rib cage, also creating more space for your lungs to breathe. First, we take a moment to tune into the physical sensations of this pose. So feel your groins, the insides and the outsides of your thighs, lower back, the shoulders, chest. Relax your jaw, relax your tongue. And let yourself sink deeper and deeper. And depending on your spirit animal, you can let yourself sink deep into the earth or into the cave or into the water or somewhere high up in the sky where this animal feels home. Bringing the elements in that are connected to this animal. Connected to fire, is it connected to water, connected to air, connected to earth? And let this element flow through your body, clearing out any unneeded energies, any old stagnant energies. If you need some extra inhales and exhales, please go for it. Let yourself completely surrender to the energies of this animal. Can you merge with the presence of the animal? Can you invite it into your being to allow yourself to be supported, to be reminded? And being open with curiosity. Without thinking of what it might be able to do or bring, just allowing it to be there.
stay one more minute here. Maybe ask your spirit animal if it has a message for you. Taking three more breaths on each exhale, let your body surrender more towards the earth. Really melt and open, relax. And then slowly come out of the pose. You can brush yourself onto your elbows. Maybe move your heels away from your hips to straighten the legs. Lie down on your back for a moment to just equalize the spine again. If you have a sense of lower back, you can bend your knees. Let your belly be soft, let your chest be open, let your shoulders be heavy. And slowly turn yourself to one side. Press yourself up to seated position. Now we'll move on to hands and knees. Opening up the spine. And how we bring the spirit animal more into our practice is especially with elements that it's connected to. So like for me, the whale can't do a downward dog, but I can bring in the water in my downward dog and be more flowy. So just really tune into that quality. Press your hands into the mat, spread the fingers wide, straight spine. Now on the inhale, bring your chin up. And the exhale, you round your spine. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Just take your time and to give freedom to flow through your cat cow, how it feels right to really bring into your spirit animal. Maybe it's more playful, maybe it's more earthy, stable, maybe it's very airy or flowy. We're cold the toes under, lift your hips up for downward facing dog. Just bending the knees, right and left. Walk your dog. <laughs> Relax the neck, maybe move your head and neck. Press your thumbs and index fingers into the floor. Inhale, lift both heels up and press them down to the mat. Find your stillness for a moment here, just breathe. Three deep inhales and exhales. Look at your hands and walk your feet forward. 
towards your hands, bring the feet hip distance, big toes leg in, and then grab your opposite elbows. Just relax here. Let your back relax, vertebrae sink apart from each other with the help of the gravity. Maybe move your hips a little, your shoulders. If that feels right. And release the elbows and then slowly start to round up. The lower back, into the middle back, into the upper back. Neck and that last. Pull the shoulders back and down. Might not be able to see me, but I think we all know what it looks like to stand up straight. Feel your feet rounded into the earth. Maybe plant yourself down. We're gonna flow through at sun A, bring the arms wide, inhale, reach up. And then exhale, come down from the hips, pull forward. Inhale, bring an aisle halfway lift. Exhale to plant your hands down and step your feet back into a plank. Bend your elbows and slowly flow or ground down into your cobra. Lift the chest up, shoulders away from the ears, maybe low or high. Curl the toes under, lift your hips up, back into a down dog. Take three deep breaths here. On your inhale, lift your right heel up into the sky. Press it away from you, bend the right knee, bring it to the right elbow. And then kick back up. Knee to third eye. Kick back and away. And knee to left elbow. And I reach your heel away from you. Now we're going to step the foot forward on the inside of the right hand. Stay on the ball of the left foot and then move into a high lunge. Stretch your arms up. Keep the back leg straight. Squeeze your inner thighs. Bend the right knee to really sit down low and pull the shoulders down. Thank you, Mother Earth. Thank you, Mother Sky. Thank you, Spirit Animals. For bringing in all the information that I need. I don't need to think about it. It's just flowing in within me and through me at all times. And turn the left heel, foot out to the side, the warrior. Sit down low. Yes, I can still see you. You can still see me. Good. And stay here. Reach to the front and to the back. Beautiful. And inhale, reach your arms up, straight to the right leg. And exhale, sit back down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend the right knee. Last one, inhale. And exhale down. Good. Return back on the ball of the foot of the left uh, foot. So back to the high lunge. Bring the hands together in front of your heart. Shoulders are pulled down. We're gonna make a twist here. So your right knee is bent to start to feel burn now. And I bring the left knee on the outside of the right knee. Twisting the upper body. Keep your left butt cheek contracted. And notice if your elbows are stacked on top of each other. And come back to the center, raise your arms up, and bring your hands down to the mat, step the right foot back, and walk in your downward dog. We'll take a child's pose if you need to.
Now we'll move to the other side. So inhale, reach your left heel up into the sky. We're going to make both legs straight, hips next to each other. Feel your arms, where is the weight in your thumbs, index fingers. On your exhale, bring your left knee to the left elbow. Inhale, kick, kick that out. Exhale, knee to the third eye. Inhale, kick. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, kick. And exhale, step your foot forward. Next to the left hand. Find your balance, the front foot, and come up to a high lunge. Straighten the back leg. Bend the left knee down. 90 degree angle, pull the shoulders down. Thank you, Father Earth. Thank you, Father Son, Mother Earth, and bring in all the energies of the spirit animals. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let it flow through us with each breath, with each sip of water, with each food that we take. And entering the heel to your warrior. Sit down low, ground yourself. Keep breathing, keep the breath flowing. Notice if your knee is still 90 degrees, it's not like this, but really, really bring yourself down. Good. And we turn back. Oh no, first you breathe. Inhale, reach up, hands together. Good. Exhale down. Inhale, reaching up with the breath. Exhale down. One more inhale. And exhale. Good. And slowly turn back to your lunge. Bring your hands down in front of your heart. And move into the twist, right elbow outside of left knee. Straighten the back leg, contract the butt cheek. And stack your elbows on top of each other, hands in front of your heart. And come back to the center, reach your arms up. Reach hands down, step your left foot back. Down facing dog, and just walk your dog, right and left, right and left. And walk, step or jump your feet forward to the front of the mat. Relax forward and fold, fold for a moment. Remember to breathe. On your inhale, halfway lift, shoulders back away from the ears. Exhale, relax. Inhale, arms sideways overhead, reach your arms up. And then pull your hands down in front of the heart. So we'll do this one again with another variation to really heat up the body and bring in that element. So feet together. So from this side, bring arms sideways overhead, hands together. Reach up, exhale, foot forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, relax. Step your feet back into the plank. Shoulders, hands are underneath the shoulders, feet or hip distance. Press the heels back. And draw the navel in and slowly set to lower down. Bend your elbows. On the belly, low or high cobra. Bring your shoulders down away from your ears. And lower down, pull your toes and then lift your hips up. In downward facing dog. Take three deep breaths. Kat <laughs> is playing some music for us. So then on the inhale, reach your right heel up into the sky, far away. And exhale, you bend the right knee all the way behind the right wrist and let your foot slide to the left. Come to a pigeon.
<laughs> you can sink your hips down, walk your hands next to your hips. If you notice that you're leaning a lot on the right hip like this, or bringing something underneath your right butt cheek, like a bolster, to support you to just stay with the hips in one line. Opening up the hip area. Just breathe here. Maybe bring your attention to the hips of your animal. If your animal has hips. <laughs> How flexible are they? How capable are they of doing things from the hips? Bringing in this flexibility, that mobility, capability. Maybe this is enough for you. Maybe you like to bend to the left knee and then reach back. You can grab the ankle. And you can either reach your right arm forward and kick your left foot back. You can stretch shoulders and the hips. Maybe you even feel it somewhere else in the spine. I feel it in the shoulders and my hips. You can stay here or just let your foot go, go back to that, or bring the ankle towards the elbow if you can. And then you can go for a bind, just reaching towards it. If it's not available yet, or if you have a strap in between, or maybe reach for the fingers. Make sure your right elbow is not like collapsing your neck and head here. Let's keep the neck straight, look forward. Notice where your stretch is right now. If it's too much, just go back one step. And then gently let go, left leg down, slowly come down to relax. In the end variation of this pose where you let your head, your forehead rest on your hands. Deeper stretch for the hips. And release your body down to the gravity of the earth. So notice if there's any muscle groups still working. And see if you can let them go and relax. And slowly, slowly press yourself back up. Walk your hands more back. Curl the left toes under and lift your hips up. Step into downward facing dog. And take a moment here to bend the knees right and left to just open up the hip. Let the blood flow return. Relax your neck. And move to the other side. So left heel down. Raise your left, no, right heel down. Raise your left heel up, straight leg. Press it away from you. And then bend the left knee and bring it right behind the left elbow. And let your right knee slide back. 
If you need support underneath your knee, you can always bring a blanket if it's sensitive. Also here, same story, you can bring a cushion under your butt cheek to support. It just all depends on how your hips and knees are. So if you need support, please go for it. It's no, not a better or a worse way to do the pose. It's just really tuning in with what you need. And then tuning into the body here, what do we feel? Might be totally different than the other side. Feeling out the hips. May help to close your eyes to feel. Let your shoulders relax as much as possible. Stretch at the front of the belly. Compression in the lower back. You can stay here or bend the right knee and reach for the ankle. You can grab the ankle, left arm reaching forward and press the, the ankle into the hands to reach the shoulders away from each other, creating a stretch. Shoulders, hips, lower back on the right side. You can stay here or go one step back. So releasing the right ankle or bring the ankle towards the right elbow. And then just see what you can do here for the rep. The bind. It's too much. Listen to your body. Just go one step back. If you don't want to over stretch it, just look for the stretch that you need today. Letting go of ambition. Two more breaths here. And gently let go of the right leg and let yourself slide down, lower down, fold over your left thigh. Let yourself sink into the earth. Gravity supports you.
And last two breaths. And then slowly come back up. Walk your hands a little close to the hips, pull the right toes under, lift your hips up and step back into your downward dog. Walk knees right and left, let the blood flow return. Relax the neck. And then bend your knees down to the floor, take up hands and knees. And then we sit on the knees in hero pose, straight spine. Close your eyes for a moment, relax the shoulders. So if this is already a moment that you need to end your practice, just take a moment also to tune into your heart and bring the spirit animal with you throughout this day. And maybe do some breathing exercise for yourself. Now we move on. You just hold forward over the legs into an embryo pose. You can stretch your arms back, relax your shoulders, forehead on the mat. Let your shoulders sink down, relax just next to your knees. Reminding ourselves that there's always time to rest and integrate also for each animal. A lot of animals really show us how to do that, like some do that for entire winters. Really turning inward, retreating, and just cuddling or snuggling up together, resting. So take that rest energy with you into this pose, allowing yourself to rest. And slowly come back up. So seated and turn yourself around, lie down on the mat. Make sure you have a block close by. Go to a supported bridge. So you lie down on your back, bend your knees, feet are on the mat. And on your inhale, lift the hips up. And bring the a uh, block underneath the hips. You can straighten your legs again so your hips can just open with the help of gravity. Arms are next to your body with your hand palms up. Inviting again in your spirit animal. Maybe if you haven't done so before, you can now imagine having the skin of your spirit animal. Is it sturdy or soft? And what is the quality of that skin? 
what does it protect this animal for? Maybe there is moments in your life that you actually need this too. Put on that skin. Intentionally using those abilities that we all have. Maybe you'd like to improve those abilities within yourself or give it just a little more attention and awareness. Notice if you're holding any tension in your thighs and your hips, lower back, chest. Can you release a little more, sink deeper? And bend your knees slowly, bring your feet onto the ground, lift your hips, remove the block, and slowly come down. You can keep the knees bent or straighten the legs, just feel the pose integrate. So we'll move into a twist, bend your left knee and close to your chest. Move your knee over to the right, the help with the right hand. Look to the left, stretch your left arm out to the side. So whatever way you're most comfortable in your twist, go for that variation. Once again, letting the elements or the elements of your 
spirit animal flow through you, release, cleanse, or support the energies in your cells. Slowly turn back to your center, maybe bring your knee to your chest one more time and straighten it down. Feel for a moment, maybe wiggle your hips from side to side. Moving into the other side, so bend the right knee to your chest, bring it close to your chest. Put your left hand to bring your knee over to the left, stretch your right arm out to the side twist and relax into the pose, let your shoulders relax. Inviting the elements of your animal to flow through you from the top of the head, washing down, You're flowing through, airing through or earthing through, firing through, and out of your feet again, your toes. And slowly return back to your center. Rub the left knee into the chest. Straighten your right leg down, the right knee. And relax in your final savasana. Let yourself sink into the mat. Let yourself sink into the ground or into the ocean and fly through the sky. And we can ask ourselves some questions about this animal. We don't have to read any description on it, but just feeling and let the imagination run wild. And what is this animal's nature, what is, it, what is its best ability? Uh, 
and what is it most fierce in or most strong. And where is it most uh, soft in or most most soft quality of this creature? And where lie the challenge of this animal? And now we've downloaded all that information and it just sinks down into your heart, into your being, you'll bring it with you in your life. You take a moment to thank yourself for your practice, for showing up on your mat today. I thank you and I invite you to open up to the spirit animals around you in the next coming days, next coming weeks. So slowly take the time if you're coming out. You can stay in your sabasana if you're coming out. Just wiggle your fingers and your toes. I think I'm just seated. And let's take another deep breath together. Hands in front of the heart. Inhale. And exhale. Thank you. Namaste. Aloha. Satnam. Blessings for all of you and your day whenever you're watching this. Thank you. You're welcome.